Welcome back to What Otty Nibs with General Disturbance. This is a Conqueror gun carriage. It's the Tier 10 British SBG. It's located on the south spawn of Proc Rocker and it's under the command of Mad Max. Now, this video is from his Twitch livestream. Yep, he actually played this one online and uh, it's rather a good video to watch. 9.2 inch howitzer mounted on a Conqueror chassis. This is the RT that would have been built if the British had got around to it, but they didn't. That 9.2 inch howitzer equates to 233 millimeters. So it's capable of doing considerable damage, 1200 alpha damage, but it's got a very long reload. The normal reload is about 46 seconds, but Mad Max has got it down to 37.97. Now he's almost completed his reload and he's gone onto the bushes near the railway line. Okay. He's now looking for a target and he's found his first one. It's an AMX 30. Tier 9 French uh, medium tank. Very light armour. Well, it landed nearby but I don't think it did much damage. And of course, this is one of the RTs that was hit by the nerfs that happened at 1.5. So it's got a reduce uh, stun circle and uh, or splash radius rather and also uh, the amount of damage it does well is much reduced so you actually do have to get your shots very close to the enemy if you're going to do any damage at all. Now he's actually opted to have five rounds of standard HE and 19 rounds of premium HE. And I think that's actually going to have a dramatic effect upon this game. Right, he's got an IS-7. He's almost fully dialed in. Rounds out. It was a near miss, but it actually did no damage other than just stun the IS-7. The shell landed this side of that ridge line. And I think the ridge line actually protected the IS-7 from any uh, splash. Right. Now looking at a mouse, but uh, over here we've got a whole bunch of enemy tanks up on the hill. 257, Centurion 71 and a T10. He's almost completed the reload and he's dialing in on the 257. He's following him. He fires the round in and oh, it goes a long way off. RNG was very bad with that, re that uh, round. Almost wasn't in the same postcode. Or zip code if you're American. Well, he's got two tanks together now. And Centurion 71 and Object 257. You know what happens when two tanks get together? Yep, you get double bubble. One shell does damage to both tanks at the same time. And increases your score. Well, he's almost about to shoot. Rounds out. Oh my god, he's killed both of them. He's got a bombardier. Both tanks were taken out. The Object 257 and the Centurion 71. They have weak enough uh, health at that time. And he's killed them both. So he's got the Bombardier medal. That's one medal they can't take away from him now. We're following a mouse going up the hill. And we're almost loaded. Oh, we just put a big shell into that Centurion 71. Can we reciprocate? Almost ready to go. Rounds out. Lands right almost on top of the uh, mouse. Did 353 hit points of damage. We don't know how much damage he did do to the 257 and to the Centurion 71. Simply because they were unspotted at the time he killed them. They were blind kills. Oh, we've lost the Centurion 71. But that 121 is going in for damage. And that's Dead Hedge. And he's just killed the 210. And the mouse has just been killed as well. So they now own the top of the hill. But there is an IS-7 nearby. Okay, Max is loaded. But he's dialing in his aim at the moment. He's still got a very, very large reticule. If he fires at the moment, the shell could land nowhere near the target. He's waiting for sighting of that 50TP before he fires. 
Rounds out on the 50 TP. Lands right in front of him, but not on him. Only does 84 hit points of splash, but does stun him. Now, the enemy appears to be doing rather badly on the west side of the map, because we've actually moved up quite a long way. Plus, of course, we now do own the uh, hill, because the enemy IS-7 has been taken out. Okay, well, he's aiming where a T-30 and an Object 430U was seen. He's waiting for the mouse we've got up there to spot them. He's loaded. He's gone back for the 50 TP near the railway line. There he is. Lining up the shots. Rounds out. It's going to fall short. Oh, it didn't. It went onto the target. So RNG made the shell go long. And it hit the target directly, so he actually did 458 hit points. But I doubt that was a full penetration with 458. He's now in reload. There's the 50 TP, still got some stun. But he's down to 324 hit points now. One more shot should be enough to finish him off if we can get it directly on target. We're loaded. Rounds out straight away. And yes, it is a kill shot. 324. So that's his third kill. Mac Max is doing very well in this battle. Well, we own the east side of the railway line. And the IS-7 is now moving down to the railway crossing so he could uh, shoot the enemy in the sights. But... Uh, we did lose the mouse that was actually moving forward. He was taken out. Object 140 is going in to have a look. Max has told him where he's looking. Okay, we've got a target. It's a Mousian. He's taking fire. We're dialing in. Almost ready to go. Rounds. Oh, rounds out just as the Mousian was killed. And the round hits the Mousian and goes twang. And we just lost our IS-7 as well. The enemy T-30 with his 155mm gun got him. Okay, we've got two tanks here together. A standard B and a T-30. I don't think you... Could, you, could it possibly be that we'll get the same thing again? It's very rare to get it. I, I haven't heard that many battles where you go, do get a double-double, but this is possible. There were two tanks together. He's, he's lost sight of them. He's fired the shot in blind. And he's got them! It is a double-double! He got two bombardiers in one game. He's killed both enemy tanks, the Standard B and the T-30 together. I think his team can't believe that one. Object 430U. <laughs> and, well, there's two Object 430Us left on the enemy team. Plus, they've got one RT, which I believe is a... Uh, I think it's an SU... Uh, it's an Object 261. Yes, sorry. There's the Object 430. He's just outside range. Max is going to have to move forward. Now, it's amazing that this actually happened on a live stream. A double-double, two bombardiers in one game. Four tanks killed with two shells. He's trying to get as close as he can. There's the 430. He's loaded, but he's having to dial in. And the target's killed before he can shoot. So, five kills for Max. <laughs> five kills from just two shells well four kills from two shells and the other one was thrown in that was the 50 tp so let's have a look at the end of battle stats well surprisingly it was only a second class tanker for mad max in the conqueror gun carriage and he got a fighter badge for getting at least four kills in fact he ended up with five but this actually doesn't show the full story because of course we both know that's two bombardiers not one he's got a double double uh two bombardiers in one game and he also picked up a bruiser medal for getting at least five critical hits. In fact, he got 11 in that game. And the win eight for the game was 1,644. So let's have a look at team score. 
Well, he didn't get the highest damage in that game. He didn't by far, but uh, the high scorer was, in fact, the Object 140. He got 6,058 hit points. The Conqueror managed 5,708. And then you've got the Tiger on the enemy team with 3,900. Mad Max managed 1,872 hit points. When it came to kills, he was second highest. The Object 140 managed six kills. Mad Max got five. And the next high score after that was the T30, who got three. And, of course, that was one of the victims from Max. And when it came to base XP, well, he was fourth on the table. The Object 140 got 1,196. The Conqueror, 1,108. And the T30, 890. Mad Max got 804. He fired 11 rounds in that game, got three direct hits, zero penetrations, but 12 splash. Damage of 1,872 hit points, and all of it was at more than 300 meters. He damaged eight of the enemy, killed five of them, and did stun, uh, seven, caused seven stuns during the game. On a premium count, he earned 32,364 credits, and after ammunition resupply, remember he did use a lot of premium rounds during that game. He actually ended up with a loss of 27,885 credits. He received 25 bonds for getting the awards that he received. Uh, I think that actually shows that you, these actually do earn a lot of bonds. And it was a tier 10 game as well. Um, and on the XP side, he earned 1,206 XP times two for the first victory, got 181 for completing the mission events, took away 2,593 experience points altogether. So a fantastic double-double there for Mad Max 80 on live stream as well. That was the amazing thing. It actually happened on a live stream that he got uh, two kills from two separate shots. And uh, yeah. Absolutely amazing. Both of those kills, by the way, both of those bombardiers were blind bombardiers. He knew where the enemy were, was. He fired the round in blind, not knowing if they were still there, and then just saw the dead tanks appear the moment the shell landed. Well done indeed. So if you enjoyed that replay, please give it a like and do subscribe to our channel. And hopefully there'll be more replays like this for you shortly. Thanks for watching.